How did you come to know Christ? Well, I've always grown up in a Christian home, and I've always had... It's never been the fact that I've never heard the gospel or anything like that. It's, uh, it definitely wasn't that. It was just the fact that I was I think I was just young, and I didn't, I didn't take it in. But when I was around like seven or eight, um, my dad, he, he asked me some questions. And I don't remember the exact questions, but uh, he asked me the questions, and then I answered yes, and I tried to be truthful with them. And... He, uh, he said I was saved after that, and then that's how I have figured it all started. What was your life like before you accepted Christ? Well, I might have to give sort of a vague response, but what, what happened, what I can remember was is back in maybe kindergarten, first grade, or any, any time like that, I always was a troublemaker. That's, what, that's all I remember. Uh, we had these little red green, yellow slips or whatever, and you had red, uh, that was the worst and meant you've been a troublemaker for that day, and I got red a lot, so it, that's all I remember, but after seven, being, after being saved, and that was about the second grade, and I started being less of a troublemaker, and I started just calming down a little bit, and as far as I can remember. But fourth grade, fifth grade, third grade, I don't really have any memories of me being a troublemaker. It might have still been there, but as I remember and as I experienced it, it felt less like that. What do you feel God's doing in your life right now? Well, I think there's a lot of things because first I have the blessing of getting to go to a Christian school. And I mean, it definitely helped me ask questions or anything like that and with our Bible class that we have we get taught things that uh, I want to know about like we had Calvinism and Arminianism as a topic and I uh, asked my dad about that and he he told me what they were and I just was really interested in that we had also um, a unit on skepticism this was back in my freshman year and I can't remember the four different levels of skepticism they taught. One of them was biblical, scientific, moral. That's three of them. I can't remember the fourth one, but that we did a unit you know, on skepticism. I'm like, that was interesting. And just having that Bible class and asking questions, learning more, it was it was really interesting. And getting to go to a church and a youth group with people that I can um talk to and ask questions as well. That that's just a blessing to me, and I'm that's what I see that's being put in my life right now.